So what's up guys, it's Technology Health back here, welcome back to another video and in my today's video I am targeting the AMD Radeon graphics users who are starving to get the NVIDIA like features for example in-game recording, in-game instant replay and in-game filters in order to run their games with more efficiency. So in this video I'll show you how can you enable instant replay, recording and game filters for your games in the AMD Radeon software itself. So without wasting much time, let's begin straight with the video. So the first thing you have to do is to disable your AMD Radeon software. We are not completely disabling it. All we are doing is to end the processes for all AMD Radeon based drivers because we are going to tweak the application in order to unlock more features. So it's pretty simple. Move over to your task manager and simply end all the tasks which are related to AMD and Radeon. Once done, move over to the link in description and download this archive file 122 MB in size and then simply extract this folder called CNEXT. Once extracted, just close it off. By now, your AMD software should be out of your taskbar. Get your folder CNEXT, move over to drive C, program files, AMD, CNEXT and there you will find a folder called CNEXT. Simply rename it to CNEXT Backup and then just paste this new CNEXT folder which we have downloaded. Once done, you are good to go. Now simply go to your start and simply launch your AMD Radeon software. And you will see the icon for the Radeon settings have changed. Within a few seconds, your Radeon settings should pop up on your screen. And there you see Radeon software news stay up to date. So the driver has completely changed and now you have unlocked lots of settings for your Radeon software. For instant replay and stuff, just go to your section called Relive and then simply turn Relive on. Turn on your record desktop choose a folder where you want to save your clips and recordings so I'll be saving it on drive D radio on relive check the hotkeys streaming streaming toolbar recording instant replay and lots of stuff so all you need to keep in mind is alt Z pressing alt Z will bring up the radio on toolbar in this way after this go to the section called recording set the resolution for your recordings choose the bitrate which you are comfortable with set your recording frame rate and that's all for your recording. Move over to the third option that says instant replay. By default, it will be turned off. So just switch it on. Set the duration, how long you want to instant replay to work for. So in my case, I prefer it to be around two minutes. That's the perfect one. And you are good to go. So now you can just close down your Radeon software. And now I'll demonstrate in the game itself how this thing looks and how it works. It is not recommended for me to record in this situation because my GPU, the Vega 11, is not so capable of recording with Streamlabs and then running in the game at the same time. So ignore the lag if you get to see any. So just press Alt Z which is the toggle key for your Radeon overlay and there you have all the options. Save instant replay, record your gameplay, stream your game to any platform like YouTube or Twitch, take a screenshot of your game. Then you have your overlays. In the performance section you can just turn on your metrics. And in the metrics, you get to see your GPU utilization, GPU temperature and all of the stuff. So you can just customize your metrics, what sort of metrics you want to see, your FPS, engine clock and all of the things. And then simply get it on with this toggle switch. You can see your shortcut key given there and you can just adjust it according to your comfort. Then you can just go to the display section and there you have your color settings. So in this way, you can just do a bit of color correction in the game and then just make it look even better than it actually looks. Because as an NVIDIA user, I can say this game really sucks without the color filters. You might not get any difference on your screen while you are watching this video because it is a hardware based change. So whatever settings you are changing, it is going to be changed on your display. Which is something different in NVIDIA because the GeForce experience changes the color of your screen through the software. There's no hardware change. So that's the only difference. Once you apply it on your system, you will get to see the difference. And then in the relive, you can simply hit save instant replay and here you can see instant replay saving. In the same way, you can also record your gameplay. So just hit record. It will show now recording and you are good to go. You can just record your clips. Once done, you can see on the top left, it shows the duration, how long your recording is going for. Once done, you can just go there and stop your recording. Recording is saved. So you can just go to your location where you have chosen to save your recordings. And here you can see the instant replay with the name replay and then time and date in the name itself. And here's the recording which I have created just now. When it comes to the recording quality, it's actually good and looks totally real time and flawless. As far as the recording is taking place on your GPU, which is the Radeon Vega 11, you are not going to get any lag in your game. 
So in this way you can just enable your AMD instant replay, your AMD radio and overlay, your AMD recording and your AMD game filters. So now what else is left? It is totally working like the Nvidia's overlay, the shadow play. And there you are good to go. Your Radeon software unlocked with lots of features and you can use it in multiple ways. So that's all for this video. If you found this interesting, make sure to drop a like. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe as we keep coming up with such videos every week. Thanks for watching.